Is this better? Oh yeah. You can hear? Oh good. I won't have to worry about it then. Just passing through. Late 1960s, music protests spread around the world. In America, freedom workers headed south, called outside agitators by those of unequal persuasion. The awakening of social conscience, not always pretty or orderly, especially in the southern hinterlands, found a pair of long-haired Virginia musicians, Lynn and Duck, dobro guitar and harmonica in hand, heading south in search of music and friends. Consummate performers, they found the Deep South inhospitable, contrary to long-standing, much-touted opinion, received no welcome for northern agitators, as they were labeled. Special treatment? Yes, at each town. They were met by the local sheriff's interrogation, then escorted in his police car to the city limits, where they were magically met by a new sheriff who administered a similar process and deposited them just out of town. They learned early on those magic words known by every black traveling through the South, just passing through. Mississippi epiphany in a small bakery, hungry, drawn by aroma of cinnamon buns. They stood gazing at all manner of home-baked goods, donuts, cream puffs, cakes, pies, cookies. Red-haired Lynn smiled at the woman behind the counter who stared back at him with suspicion. Two cinnamon rolls, please. Ain't got no cinnamon rolls, she said without smiling. Duck thought he'd help, pointed obligingly to the rolls in question. Right there, he said helpfully. Ain't got no cinnamon rolls, the tight-lipped woman repeated with unspoken warning. The young white men looked at the rolls, looked at each other, quietly laughed. Road trip over, discrimination lesson taken, time to return 